quick tip on how to jailbreak iOS 15 or iOS 16 with no computer. In this tutorial we are going to be using an iPhone 6s. If you're on iOS 15.8.3 and below or on iOS 16.6.1 this tutorial will work. If you're on any of Apple's new security updates this tutorial won't work. Step 1. Make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi. Step 2. Go to Safari. Go to ipaapps.me. Link will be in description. If you are on this website, make sure you download Dopamine as it is the best jailbreak. Hit download. You may get bombarded with ads. And to close out of any of these ads, tap this button. And to close out any of these ads, tap pages. Swipe left to close. Go back into the store and tap download once more. Once you reach this screen, you are good to go. Just tap download. You may get ads again. Just tap pages. Close that ad. Go back into that screen and hit download again. Once you get this screen right here, tap download. And dopamine should appear right on your home screen and is beginning to download. Once dopamine has finished downloading on your phone, if you tap on it right now, you'll get an untrusted developer message. To fix that, go to settings, tap general, go to VPN and device management and tap on the certificate right here. Tap trust, go home and open your jailbreak app and tap jailbreak. If you get a pop-up saying to install Celia or Zebra, I'd recommend tapping both to get the both of best worlds. Once again, tap jailbreak and wait for the process to begin. If you are seeing code popping up on your iPhone, you are good to go. If you are getting a message to say set password, it is required because if you use this password, it is for command line stuff. I'm using 2004 as an example, tap done and wait for the jailbreak process. Your iPhone will eventually do a black screen and go into the Apple logo, which we will see right now. It is currently on the Apple logo and your iPhone will restart fresh. And after it booted up, you are successfully jailbroken on your iPhone. You have Cilia and Zebra. Open Cilia. And you're good to go for installing tweaks and crazy stuff on your iPhone or iPad. Thank you for watching and like for part 2. Because in part 2, I'm going to guide you on how to keep your jailbreak permanent on your iPhone. Like, comment and subscribe and like for part 2.